Hi, and welcome to Stephen Helwig Talks Tech. Today, I'm gonna to show you how to deploy a custom domain on Azure Web Apps. If you watched my previous video, I showed you how to deploy a WordPress website on Azure Web Apps running on Linux using a Docker container. One of the comments on that video was from Prabhjot Singh, who wanted to know, how can I add my domain to this web app? So today I'm gonna to take you through how to deploy your domain to the web app that I set up in the last video. And I'll take you through how to both use an A record and a C name record in GoDaddy. If you're new to Stephen Helwig Talks Tech, we appreciate every like, subscribe, and comment on this channel. In fact, this video is brought to you by one of the comments from my previous video. So if you have any thoughts, ideas, suggestions on future videos that I can do, please let me know in the comments below. In addition, we have just reached 500 subscribers here on Stephen Helwig Talks Tech. Thank you to everyone who's already subscribed. I'm trying to get to 1,000 subscribers by September. So if you've yet to subscribe, please subscribe now. Share these videos with your friends and your community if you think it might be helpful to them and hit that like button as well. Okay, let's get started. Previously, when I deployed the WordPress website on Azure App Service, there are two components that get deployed when you deploy anything on App Service. There's an App Service plan, and then there's the web app itself. And the great thing about App Service is that it decouples the compute from the actual website deployment. And that allows you to have more density. It allows you to put m multiple websites on a single uh, layer of compute, so to speak. And that layer of compute is the App Service plan. Now. The custom domain feature is limited to the basic tier and above. So if you're on the shared or the free tier, you don't have access to deploy custom domains. So I'm gonna show you real quick where you can adjust that if you are on one of the other tiers and you're not seeing the custom domain name option showing up. Okay, here is the resource group for uh, in which I deployed all of the resources in the previous video. You can see it has an app service plan, it has the um, post or the MySQL database, as well as the app service. So I'm gonna click into the app service plan here. And then I'm gonna go into the scale up section. Now I'm, uh, you see here a lot of tiers, I'm on standard and I can move down to, let's say the basic tier. And you notice that if I select free, those options disappear. And if I select basic, they reappear. Okay, so the basic tier and above, and if I was to go into, you know, the standard tier as well, you'd see it's here, it's here along with some other options. So with each, with each tier, you get a different set of options. So I'm going to select the basic tier and hit apply, and it's going to update the underlying compute that is accessible to my web app. Okay, so that's all we need to do here. We're going to hop back over and we're going to go into the web app and get some things set up. We're back here in the resource group and we're going to go into the um, app service. So we're going to click into the web app itself and scroll down to custom domains. The first thing we're going to need to do is verify that we own the domain. So when you go into this customs do custom domain section, you're going to see that there is a custom domain verification ID. And this, this little bubble here will say, use this custom domain verification ID to configure your DNS settings for TXT records to verify domain ownership. So this will allow me and GoDaddy to tell Microsoft that I own this domain or that I own the website, right? So it's kind of tying these two things together. So I'm gonna copy this, uh, this um, value here and it's just a set of digits, right? So it's nothing special. It's just a set of uh, digits. So just copy that off and then let's hop back over to GoDaddy. And here in GoDaddy, I'm in the DNS management area, okay? And you can see the domain here that I'm gonna uh, use is stephenhelwigtalkstech.com. And so just I'm just gonna go down here to add, and the type is gonna be txt, and the host is going to be asuid.www, and the value is gonna be the value that I just copied, okay? So we're gonna put that in and click Save. And that's it. Uh, when we go in and we add the C name records later, you'll see that a verification process will occur and this will allow that verification to come back as green. I'm back here in the Azure portal and I just wanted to show you what's deployed currently 
to um, this website. And so since the last video, I deployed this WordPress website and you'll see there's no changes. It's just the WordPress container running in app services on Linux. And the one thing I wanted to copy off and I'll need this in order to create the CNAME record, which is what we're gonna do now is the existing URL for the website. So I'm gonna copy that off screen here. And when you do that, just remove the HTTPS. You don't need that part of the URL, okay? I'm gonna actually pop over into GoDaddy and you'll see here I'm in the GoDaddy DNS management area specifically for the domain stephenhelwigtalkstech.com and I have nothing on this uh, website right now. In fact, if you go to stephenhelwigtalkstech.com, it would route you at this time, it would route you to a landing page, a GoDaddy landing page. And you'll notice that a CNAME record already exists and uh, you know generally when you buy a domain, it's gonna have a CNAME record that points to its origin. That's what this at symbol means. And so it's just routing me to a generic landing page. A lot of times these might have looked a little different in the past. I think GoDaddy actually does a really interesting thing to make their landing page look like their website, right? So your your domain basically comes advertising space for them. So uh, very smart by them. But we're gonna point that over to our Azure web app that's running the WordPress blog. So I'm gonna edit this. Instead of adding a new one, we're gonna edit this. And instead of it pointing to at, we're gonna go ahead and copy in the URL that we just grabbed from Azure. So you'll see here I've removed the HTTPS and it's just pointing to the rest of that URL. And we're gonna hit save. Okay, so we have our CNAME record here that's pointing to um, our Azure website and we have our TST, TXT record, excuse me, that we're using for verification purposes. Now let's pop over into Azure and let's verify both of these. We're back here in the Azure portal, and we've gone down to the custom domains section. So if, you've, uh, if you're someplace else, go to custom domains. We're gonna start here. Once we're back inside custom domains, you'll see a little plus button for add custom domain. We're gonna click that, and we're gonna now type in the domain of the site that we just added in GoDaddy. So we're gonna type www, because we're doing a CNAME record. We've mapped it to www.stephenhelwigtalkstech.com. And then from there, we're gonna hit validate. And you'll see that it's validating a CNAME record and it's gonna go and check, perfect. So it's showing that the host, uh, it's verified host name availability and it's verified domain ownership. From there, we can click add custom domain. And it's gonna take a second and it's going to add the custom domain. Not sure why it's telling me that there. Very good, okay, so it's done it. Uh, it's added the custom domain, stephenhelwigtalkstech.com, and it's saying not secure. And that's because we don't have an SSL certificate set up, so it's listing it as not secure. So uh, that's fine. It's, you know, we'll, this video, we're not gonna attack uh, setting up uh, an SSL certificate. So from there, we'll just go back here and we'll just type in stephenhelwigtalkstech.com. Actually, what we'll need to do is type www.stephenhelwigtalkstech.com. And you notice that now routes to our WordPress website, right? Because that we've added the CNAME record specifically for www. Now, uh, the next thing we're gonna do is map an A record, and we'll do that next. The next thing we're gonna do is we are gonna add an A record for our custom domain. So we're gonna need two pieces of information. We're gonna need the IP address. Make sure you copy that off to a notepad someplace. And we're gonna actually use the custom domain verification ID again. So make sure you've copied that off as well. When we pop back over into GoDaddy, you might see an A record in here for, um, for your website already. If you do, you'll edit that one. If not, we'll add a new one. But before we do that, we actually need to add a new TXT record for verifying our domain, specifically for verifying the A record. So we're gonna select TXT again, and we're gonna do ASUID, and we're not gonna put the www this time, right? And we are going to add in the TXT value here and click save. And then we're gonna either add or edit the A record value that might be in there. So we're gonna select A for the type. And for the host, I'm going to put at, and I'm gonna have this point to my domain. Grab that there, okay. Uh, actually, I'm gonna have it point to my IP address. My apologies, right? So we grabbed our IP address, we have that there. So now this is gonna to point to our IP. We're gonna click save. Okay, so we have uh, the A record pointing to our IP address, um, so all good. So now we're gonna hop back over to the Azure portal and we are gonna click add custom domain and we're gonna type in Stephen 
Oleg Talks, oops, Talks Tech. Dot com. We're not going to use a www this time, right? And you'll see it's validating an A record and we have host name availability verified and domain ownership verified. We're going to click add custom domain. Click OK. And you'll see now we have the two records. We have the Stephen Helwig Talks Tech.com, which is an A record um, added. And we also have a, um, a C name added. And we can go and, you know, try, type in Stephen Helwig Talks Tech.com. Make sure that we are not. Okay, good. Yep. And then if we were to do www. It's also taking us to our WordPress website. So both now work to take us to our, our WordPress site. So that's adding the C name and the A record. So the last thing I want to show you is how to map a wildcard C name record for your domain. And this can operate as a catch all or allow you to map uh, subdomains to your website. So for instance, if you want to map uh, blog.stephenhelligtalkstech.com to your website, you could do that using a wildcard record. Uh, and it also operates as a catch all in case somebody types in, happens to type in abc123.stephenhelligtalkstech.com, it can catch that and route it to your website. Um, so I'll show you how to map the wildcard record inside uh, your domain provider in case, in this case, obviously mine's GoDaddy and then add it into uh, Azure App Service. We're here in Azure App Service and you can see that I've removed the other records. Uh, I just have the A record in here and I'm going to map the wildcard C name record. So we are going to go back into GoDaddy and we're going to hit add C name and we're going to use the star for the host. Um, and or an asterisk and then we are going to grab our URL that we've been using and click save right and so we've mapped this little star as a wild card to our um, Azure website's URL and so I'm going to go back into Azure and then now what I can do is I could map something specifically like a subdomain specifically like blog.stephenhelwigtalkstech.com and click validate and you'll notice that validates or I can use a wild that wildcard asterisk here that's what that denotes hit validate again and add this click OK now once that's been added uh, let me open up a, a private browser here and we can do something like first let's just check a record still working oh, must have typed something wrong here yep yeah, sure did Try that again. Okay, our A record is still working, and now I could do, uh, let's say, if I wanted to do um, blog, right? It would still map to it, or if I just, oh, I think I thought I was searching here. Stephen Helwig Talks Tech.com, and you see that map uh, mounts to it as well, or maps to it as well. So you see, it's just some random characters, images, right? Uh, anything that I would put in front of the domain here would also map to it. So that's it. That's how you map a wildcard domain. Um, so I've shown you how to map, uh, let's go back here. So I've shown you how to map a C name record uh, specifically to www, but you could have mapped a C name record specifically to blog or images, anything, right? And I actually have done that in another one of my websites. I mapped the images dot my domain name, my custom domain to a blob storage container in Azure where I actually store the images. So you can do that directly. Um, you can use a wildcard C name record as a little bit of a catch all, um, or you you can use an A record to uh, allow the root of your website to point directly to the IP address for your website in Azure Hub Service. Thanks again for joining me here on Stephen Helwig Talks Tech. I hope you enjoyed that look and how you can map a custom domain to an Azure web app. If you have any questions, comments, thoughts, please leave them in the comment section below. As I mentioned before, I, I always love hearing from you all and this video was as a result of one of your comments. So please keep the ideas coming. Uh, we're trying to get to 1,000 subscribers here on the channel. So I'm asking you again, if you haven't subscribed, please hit that subscribe button now. Share these videos with, uh, with your friends and those in your community where you think they might be useful. Um, and hit that like button and hit that bell if you want to get notified. All right, thanks. Bye.